Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> I am headed to the job. Okay. And um, we had testing this week. Not every day, though. So, you could be seeing this on my first day of testing or you could see this on my last day of testing, depending on when I put this video up. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to work as a proctor so I'm a teacher but of course since we've been working at home I've been doing my thing from home and my position is a little different this year oh I hate that that glare is in the back oh my gosh y'all uh, I gotta like I gotta like do like this <laughs> so y'all can see me but um yeah what do y'all think about okay that's much better jesus what do y'all think about um this standardized testing i mean parents um chime in i personally in in, in many areas even on the secondary level like with the older kids It bothers me because a lot of them stress out. They do good all year and then it comes to a test and the test doesn't give them, they don't see the results that they feel they should have. And they you know the self-esteem is lowered. And it's like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to go to college. I'm not gonna be able to, like they feel doom and gloom. And I just feel like, I just feel like standardized tests make people feel um, less than what they really are. And they don't really gauge God's purpose in your life. It's just like, it's whatever your state is saying. Um, or whatever, um, I don't know. Well, let me give y'all an example. It's even, it's bad to the point, and I'm talking about in the educational field. Let me say that. The educational field in the state that I am in and that's the state of Michigan okay it's so bad that um when I went to school I got my degree in early childhood education and that was in Ohio early childhood education consists of for anybody who doesn't know I'm not trying to talk to you like you're crazy I'm just telling you what my degree was in. Um, Pre-K through third grade. Okay? So, when I got certified, I, after I passed the practice, which is not just a state exam, it's not. That, that exam is taken nationally. Okay? So, after... I'm sorry, let me slide y'all this way. After I passed the praxis, all right, I was able to go to North Carolina with my license. And they said, okay, well, you got pre-K through third. That's fine. So we're going to give you here. We're going to do pre-K through six because for us, it's the equivalent of what you have. All right. So we're going to go ahead and switch your certificate over to this because I've already passed the national exam right i get to michigan i moved to michigan which is my home state which is where i lived before i went to college and they're like yeah that uh national exam is cute now but we don't go by that we don't care we really don't care you can teach your program in another state that's cute but you have to pass our state exam now, on their state exam, I have to teach kindergarten all the way up to high school. But I was certified to do pre-K through third grade. Now, right now, I'm working with high schoolers. That's not what I intended when I went to college. You have an early childhood, right? And then you have the secondary. So if you want to be in middle school, high school, you know what I mean? 
But if you're trying to do early childhood before kindergarten, you wouldn't you wouldn't teach 12th grade now, would you? You wouldn't teach any parts, any subjects in 12th grade now, would you? So that is my dilemma now. Now let me just say I am extremely happy to have a job because God is working on some things in my life. And right now I need to have a job in order to transition from one place to another. So I'm not mad about the job. God qualifies you, let me just say that. So I'm trying to be my best in this situation. But I must say, it's been a challenge. <laughs> it has been a challenge. And, um, yeah, y'all pray for your girl, okay? Because I, there's a lot of things that God is showing me about the educational field. And to have to test and do um, doggone near pre-calculus. Sorry, my camera went off. But to have to test and do geometry high school level. All right. Uh, to go back to that. And you know, the math is a little different now. And to have to go back to trig and pull out a little bit of a calculus brain just to teach pre-k through third grade is astronomical so if they're doing that to the teachers okay they're doing that to the teachers just imagine they're trying to train us to do to the kids like i don't know i'm not trying to say we that they should be uh walk around being dummies or anything like that please don't get me wrong I just feel like some things are unnecessary. Let me ask you this. Think about think about millionaires. Think about it. Do you think most of them got a high SAT score? Or got a high, um, I don't know, score high on their state exams? You got some college dropouts? You got some, it all depends on where God places you. I don't think that standardized test started away. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all, how y'all feel about that. I just, I don't know. I just don't think that they're the way. So y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think. Am I tripping? Come on, man. I, you came first. I'm sorry. I'm in traffic and these people don't know who goes first. So, all right. I love you guys. And I will probably be back with more of a video um, later. Not me just like talking. And trust me, I can see the road very well. You guys are mounted up. So, I'm not just staring into the camera. I'm not driving safely out here. The mean streets of Detroit, honey, you got to drive like you got some sense. Alright, love y'all, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Hey y'all, and I'm back. I just wanted to share something with you. I made a video the other day giving you guys the name of a YouTuber who, who really, you know, kind of gives good deals. And again, if I find things, I'm definitely going to tell you about it on, on my channel. So, remember I told you guys about my, um, about the Target gift card? Not gift card. Hmm. Let me erase that. Forget I said that. The Target, um, red card. That's what I'm saying. Um, and you've been able to get $40 for opening the Target red card. Now, hear me out. It's not... A credit card it's not a credit card it's not a credit card it's not a credit card you link it to your debit card if you already shop at Target it makes sense if you, this is something you're not interested in doing I understand go ahead and click off child but um, if you shop at Target for any reason 
and you know that you want to get cash back or something like that without having to apply for a car, they allow you to use your debit, um, a, a debit card linked to your account. And they still give you cash back, but they say it's a it's a red card, okay? So, anyway. So, basically, I was trying to tell you guys about this. Hold on. Let me, uh, I may have to cover that part up, but it's $40 off a store-wide purchase over $40. So, I could spend $41.20 and I have $40 off. Okay, I got this in the mail with my card. Okay, here's my card right here. And of course, I'm not going to show y'all my, uh, and I, I put my full name because I got married, but I haven't been able to go and change whatever. Gatlin is not my name anymore. So, yeah, so that's my card. And, yeah. I got the $40 for it. So, I'm not sure if this deal is still going. But, what I will do for you guys is I will link her channel down again. Because she even been posting a lot of good stuff. She posted a lot of deals for Amazon Prime Day. Um, which has passed, I believe. If if not, today is the last day. But, I think it's already passed. Um, anyway, I'm going to link her stuff down below. Like I said, if I see deals, I'll tell y'all about them. If I see somebody who tells me about a deal, I will link you to them. Because maybe they can explain the deal better than I can. So, I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. If, you, if, you, if you're single and you're by yourself and you go to Target. If you have a family and you're trying to budget and you go to Target. What I do is, I'm here to educate, first of all. I'm here to motivate, second of all. So, if I find any deals, I'm going to shout them out on my channel, okay? So, anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back with another video soon. Peace. Love y'all.